proudly sponsored by Premier Guns. Hi, John. Hi, Alex. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Um, hope everything's going well with the new Super Sporting, which um, I spoke to your company about. Just a couple of quick questions. Um, CPSA, how many members have you got? Do you know? At the moment, we have about 22,300. 22,300, that's a very precise figure. Well, it's something I look at every day. At the beginning of the pandemic two years ago, we had about another 2,000. Wow. Um, 18 months ago, we were down to about 20,000. So we're making very good returns. We've an uh, unbelievable number of brand new members, not just members coming back because they've had a 18 months off. Um, in February, we had the biggest number of brand new members than we've had since 2014. Oh, that's excellent. And why do you think that is? Is there anything in particular that the CPSA have changed? I mean, what are the benefits to being a member, really? Um, there's, there's, the benefits depends on what kind of member you are. And, and I don't mean what, whether you're a uh, clubman or uh, whether you're a full competition member. I mean, primarily the CPSA, its function is to organise competitive shooting. Okay. So if you're in that bracket, then we've got a whole host of things. You've got the options to the England team, you've got your cumulative scores, your handicap system. Okay, um, we'll come on to that later. Which event then are you most looking forward to this year? Other than our competitions, the British Shooting Show. Really? It's two, it's two years since we were there, and I really enjoyed it because it is so different to everything else we get involved in. For a start, it's inside. That's handy. It's warm, it's dry, it starts late on and finishes early, and it's a really nice shoot, a show to go to because it's all about shooting. I like the game fair, I love the game fair. But there's a lot of people there to buy barbecues and garden furniture. You go into a shooting show, you want something to do with shooting, so everything's got some kind of interest. Even stuff I don't actually get involved in, it's interesting to wander around and have a look at it. I love it. I believe the, uh, the gates are open for everything. Yeah, they opened Monday before last at 8 o'clock instead of midnight. Really? Uh, yeah, because it's tradition. It's always been at midnight, so you've got people sat up and waiting for one minute past midnight to get booked on. So we decided that we would actually bring it back to a reasonable hour. That's nice. Having said, actually, having said that, I was in a Nottingham County committee meeting, and that was interrupted at eight o'clock when half the committee got their phones out to start booking onto the competitions. But. And have you seen any major trends? What's going to be, what's changing? What's changing in shooting, John? Come on, you're the right. man. Okay. Man. okay. Um, booking opened at eight o'clock on Monday night. Within the first hour, we had slightly under three and a half thousand books. The system carried, kept going. By the third day, the British had sold out. I think the English may have sold out. We've had to put extra days on. So, really? You're uh, on extra days on the English and the British Open? Oh, we did last year, but so this year we ran it with those days and now we've had to put extra days on again. Wow. Yeah. So is this by far and away the most popular growing trend? Um, Steep was in the doldrums for quite um, a long time. It's, it's showing some signs now of starting to gain popularity again. Um, of the, shall we say, the, the, the not so popular disciplines, Fast Trap is showing a lot of interest. It's, in, it's um, growing quite rapidly. Yeah. The last times we've had anything like the English, um, uh, those, those shoots have been sold out. Uh, and it's, it's just becoming a very lively, very popular. So it's still obviously quite small compared with sporting, but from where it was a few years ago, it's just its popularity is increasing. And do you think this is to do with the prizes? I mean, say fast track, for example. What what are the prizes here? What so do you what? get if you win the fast the fast track? 
quite a lot. You get you get some entry money and, and things like that. All the major prizes that we can provide are obviously provided by sponsors. Mm. Uh, and our sponsors want maximum um, exposure. So, yes, we get a lot more um, sponsorship for sporting than we do for the others. So what do you get if you win the English Open this year? Um, we've got a whole host of... Um, prizes depending on um, classes and positions. We've got guns, we've got some merchandise, we've got cash, we've got cartridges. They're all coming in from our headline um, uh, sponsors. So I suppose uh, the question on my lips, John, at this point will be who are the headline sponsors? I mean, oh, last year at the British Open and Sport Trap, we had Swatcom and Musto. Mm -hmm. Nice badges. Yeah. <laughs> we have Laporte, um, Castellani, obviously, they provide all the gear for our um, England teams. Do they uh, really? We'll move on to the England team in a minute, so I want to hear about them. Musto, um, Browning, they have something, they, they sponsor our um, Have a Go, or sorry, shoot some videos. Uh, GMK Beretta, they're just coming on. Yes, we're expanding, or they're expanding their um, sponsorship this year. I'll we'll tell you about that a bit later on. Okay. Quite, quite good. And how uh, do you feel personally about... Well, I forgot to mention Rosini, Rosini, because they also provide a lot of guns for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how does that work? If you if you win with a Beretta and you mm -hmm. end up winning a Rosini, what, what happens there? What goes on there? It's there, it's the prize, and that's what we're, our sponsors are providing. What you do after that is completely up to you. Um, when, I was, um, when I was shooting regularly, because I was a BTL shooter, we, we always used to say that all these um, top shots that have, um, I won't say any makes, but they got there shooting a, a £600 gun, and then they got the big gun when they'd won. That might be the case. Doesn't matter. It's a prize. And you're going to stay with your old one and go with a new one. It's okay. Yeah, absolutely. But we've got the support. We've got um, last year in the British Open across the board, we had something like thirty thousand k or thirty thousand pounds worth of sponsors. Really? Yeah. And that's very much what we want to do. Is we want to spread it out across the, sh the competition, not giving big um, headline prizes to a small number of top shooters. We want to try and get everybody involved and. By and large, I don't say by and large, I say totally all our sponsors are on board with that. That's great. Do you think it's time to get rid of the men's and women's category? No, because we don't have a men's and women's category, Alex. Really? I thought that of ladies, ladies. No, okay, we don't have a men's and ladies. We have an open category and a ladies category. A lady is entitled to win the open category. So we are totally... Um, Neutral in that. We don't have a category which says women can't shoot in it. Yeah, but you have a category for ladies that says men can't shoot in it. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's historical. Uh, originally, we didn't have those. Those are those other categories. It doesn't are matter already. about men. Like, <laughs> women get their own thing. Sod the men. <laughs> They're not entitled uh, to men. say the same about the juniors or the colts or the veterans or the super veterans. Um, but no, we, I think, possibly one of the few sports where we don't have a men's category anybody in any of the other categories can win that or be placed in it or be counted towards it okay that's interesting thanks john we've got the cpsa awards haven't we yes we have they are on the you think it would be on the tip of my tongue but i know from experience that if i tell you a date i will probably get it wrong Nobody will be surprised. But, March the twelfth. Yeah. Yes, March the twelfth. Um, and there are still tickets available, everybody. If you want to book some, we've got some really good raffle prizes. I mean, very good raffle prizes. We are will announce them shortly on social media, so I won't. Um, oh come on! Can you tell us what one prize is? One prize. Um, simulated game day. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we um, like it. We like a bit of sim game, don't we? Some 
uh, one to one lessons with some of our top shooters or players and really. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, they're, they're meaningful things and they're developmental within the sport, aren't they? Yep, yep. And quite a few others which we will be putting out shortly. Okay, and one final question for you. How many CPSA registered grounds are there that hold a CPSA registered shoe? Uh, In the UK? Approximately 300. Really? As little as that? Yep. Yep. But it's quality, Alex, not quantity. Mm. Yes, that's what I keep telling people. Um, <laughs> yeah, was there anything else that you'd like to add today, John? Uh, no, it's just with um, the all the grounds where our majors and minors are going to take place that should be on our calendar now. Um, are there any new grounds hosting? They, Depends what you mean by new, but the British Open's going to Barbary this year. That's the first time they've hosted the British. Last year was the first time they hold, hosted the English, and it was the wettest competition anybody can remember going to. Oh, over the entire, including the final on the last day. You, Alex, you know, you know it's pretty bad when some of the referees leave their tents and caravans and book into the Holiday Inn, don't you? That's how bad it is. So yeah. that was, but it never stopped everyone going on and just enjoying it. It was just, the weather was miserable. The shoot was brilliant. Oh, yeah. It brings people together, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got um, Ariswell Lodge is hosting the English Open Sports Trap for the first time. So mm. that's a, a, an introduction into the sporting side for them. Um, yeah, that's exciting stuff. But hopefully I'll see you at the British Shooting Show before all that. Oh, you go. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, I'm afraid. Yes, my, uh, my social media tells me you're uh, going to be quite involved in that this year. Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm trying to keep that quiet, what can I say? But uh, I'm really looking forward to it too. Thanks for joining us today, John. Ah, uh, pleasure. And I'll see you soon. With Alex Sayer.